guys, it's me, Susan. It's day 77 of the Cancer Club. It's been three days since my last confession. And uh, that's only partly a joke because it sort of feels confessional today. My intention was to post yesterday. I was uh, scheduled for a massage. I don't know if I mentioned that on Thursday. Um, I might not have even signed up for it yet. Anyway, I had been given a gift card with some massages on it, and I thought, how cool. I'm going to get a lot of stuff done on Saturday, and then Saturday afternoon, I'm going to go have a massage and get all groovy and relaxed and spacey and like kind of like when I was in, in a trance in the bathtub last weekend. And um, I was going to post then in that state of mind and see what happened um, and maybe do some fun things or whatever. This was all my projection of what was going to happen. But uh, the massage did not go well. Um, the, the, uh, the girl was, I don't have a regular person since I don't do them very often, so I was just assigned to somebody. She was very sweet, but she had very little experience. Um, looked like she was pretty newly out of massage school. And um, I just couldn't really, she was like 20 something, I don't know, I just couldn't really um, flow with her that well. And then also they were playing chamber music throughout the whole uh, building. All the rooms had the same music and um, I, I, I mean I love all kinds of music. I, have, I love classical music when I'm in the mood for it. Chamber music is fine. It always seems to me to be a little prim. You know, it's just like, and I did what well, that's the prim was not what I was looking for. So uh, when I realized that there was no, it wasn't like coming from a, a sound system in her little room, um, I asked if we could turn it down because it was really, I was having trouble not paying attention to it. You know, I just couldn't just get into my head. It was the dee 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 just kept driving me crazy. So she said, well, um, I can go ask them to turn it off, but it will be, it will be off for everyone who's here, you know, all the other little rooms. And maybe they were all like in heaven having, having, uh, chamber music playing during their massage. So I said, no, no, it's okay. It's fine. I'll just, I'll work around it. So I started working on letting this massage just be what it was going to be. And, um, you know, that was better. I certainly wasn't upset or anything, but I had trouble really relaxing. I certainly didn't get into the mindset that I uh, was anticipating. So I got home and I really started to crash. I had some plans of things I wanted to get done. I did take Jolie for a walk, so I'm glad of that. That always helps me. But as I, I kind of saw the day sort of slipping away from me and I didn't, even though I got some things done, Yesterday morning, I started feeling just slipping, like I was slipping down, 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 and uh, I wasn't having any luck at that moment coming back up. And I started doing my orbiting the kitchen to find food thing. I even uh, made a batch of cookies. Uh, fortunately, not from scratch or anything. It was this thing, this gift I had been given like two years ago that I had sitting around a Christmas thing that had layers of stuff and you just dump it in a bowl and put eggs and butter and stuff in it. So I figured it's too old to give to anyone else. So I, I, in the interest of not just throwing it away, I had to make it. I ate half of it. It was really gross. It was, <laughs> it was terrible. I, I, the whole thing was not going well. I finally... I was working on some email, emailed a friend who had, uh, who had written me a lovely, lovely uh, note being real supportive of what I'm doing here on the Cancer Club and saying how much it was helping her and with all the ideas about changing behaviors and stuff like that. And I said, well, thank you so much. Uh, right now I'm actually in a very bad place and I'm, I'm eating my head off all over the kitchen and um, that really, that was nice. It was nice sharing that. Um, and I got a wonderful, uh, very supportive and, and connecting uh, email back. Uh, thank you, Donna, for that. Um, so I, I, I just, I finally just sort of dragged myself out of the kitchen and went and brushed my teeth. I mean, the damage was done by then. I had, 
Thank goodness I didn't, one of the things I didn't do yesterday was go to the grocery store because then I would have had more stuff that I could have eaten. Um, so this morning, I knew I would feel better the next day. I did go to, go to bed. I was able to sleep just fine. Had some dreams that were like kind of, you know, unsettling. Um, and just, I mean, nothing really dreadful, but just, you could just tell I wasn't completely settled in my mind. And um, uh, woke up feeling a little bit better this morning. And as I'm uh, brushing my teeth, all of a sudden it occurs to me, I was trying to think about what happened, what actually happened to me um, last night. So I saw it as kind of a slip, I was calling it a slip or a dip, or I just kind of felt almost like sliding down a little, a little bank, a little embankment. It wasn't falling off a cliff, it wasn't horrible. And then it occurred to me, I fell into a chute. And um, what what this me all of a sudden it dawned on me, and I want to talk about it because I think it's really it was really a cool idea. Um, you may remember the game from when you were a child. I happen to have it here because when my grandson was little, we would play it all the time. Shoots and ladders. Okay, <laughs> look at some of these shoots. I mean, there's some really big shoots on here. So here's what I was thinking. Um, the only part of this of this board that applies to actual time, in my opinion, is square one, which is like you're born, and square 100, which is you die. Okay. The rest of it is not chronological. It's not like this is your life, and and if you're if you're in the last third of your life, you're up here. Because the whole nature of the game is you can be working your way along, going through your deals. And all of a sudden, something can happen that really sets you forward or that really sets you back. And then you just, I mean, you can be, I remember my grandson, he would get so upset. He would think he was almost going to win, and then he would end up back here. He would start to cry when he was real little. But, of course, if, I, if that happened to me, he would be very, very happy. But I kept telling him, you do not know even if you go back down here, you don't know that something's not going to happen to me. You don't know that you're going to lose if you have to go back down here. You just have to start going back. And maybe you'll hit, look at this ladder. This is a ladder from square 28 to square 84. You never know when something's going to happen that really moves you forward. But anyway, the whole point of that was to realize that it's a way of thinking about setbacks that doesn't make you feel discouraged, like all the habit stuff we've been talking about, you know, where you're trying to, you have a goal, it's like my, uh, my weight management thing, I told you the red line deal, I'm three pounds over my red line right now, my clothes, my pants are tight, okay, it, uh, I'm sure last night's little cookie uh, episode didn't help that any, um, but you have to have a way of getting back on on the train, uh, getting back on track, not having this kind of snowballing thing where you say, oh boy, now I've really blown it, now what the, what's the point, I give up, and then you go back farther than you really were even before your setback. So um, I found that extraordinarily encouraging to think of it that way. Your whole life is just shoots and ladders, okay? And you never go off the board entirely, not until you get to a hundred, and then you're dead. So that's good because then you go to God and everything's easy and you don't have to worry about this stuff anymore. But negotiating and working your way through all the steps of your life is going to contain some times where uh, you feel really confident, you're doing really great, and other times where you feel like giving up. But you don't get to give up. I mean, you might want to, but you're still going to end up dying anyway. So you can give up and just stay so stay at the bottom of the chute, I guess, forever. But it, uh, it, it'll stop you from running into the ladders that, that lie ahead as well, to the opportunities to grow and, and uh, change and become happy, even though you don't get to become happy with a guarantee that you will never be unhappy again, you know? 
You just don't, because there's just a chute. You're going to run into a chute. Hopefully it's not the super big one. But I was thinking you could even be, you could be the happiest person in the world, have be married to the love of your life for 70 years, and one day they die, you know? And while hopefully uh, you, you know, you're prepared for that by then, but you never, you can't possibly prepare for a hole like that opening up in your life. So temporarily, you're going to go way down the big chute um, for a while. I mean, there's no guarantee that uh, we get to just cherry pick the good stuff out of our lives. Okay, so um, I have more stuff to say, but I think I'll, uh, I'll save it um, for my next post since I see I'm already over 10 minutes. But uh, um, if you could have seen me yesterday, I mean, you would have, like, sent EMS to the house or something. You would have thought, oh, my goodness, she's, she's, really, uh, she's really in a bad way. And I, well, I sort of was, but, you know, it was just, it's just life. You don't always feel great. I will tell you, it's kind of funny what I did with the, I ate about half the cookies last night. And then today, I got up and I did raking. I raked, for, raked my yard for three hours, which felt really good. But I started, um, originally I was going to throw out the cookies, and then I said, no, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just leave them there. So I started eating them again. Then I went and tried my pants on, and I said, no, we got to do this. So I, not only did I throw out the cookies, I crumbled them all up because I have been known to retrieve food from the trash. <laughs> Oh, now you know all my all my disgusting secrets. Okay, 11 minutes and 30 seconds. I've got to go. Bye bye until I see you again. Um, have a great have a great Sunday. Have a great uh, Monday. I don't know if I'll post tomorrow or Tuesday. We'll see. I'm doing my three time a week chunk thing, as you may have noticed. Um, so until then, live well, laugh often, and love much. And I love you all, and I'll see you soon on the Cancer Club. Bye.